Well, good evening, children, and welcome back to the Bible at Bedtime. And we've started learning about Solomon, haven't we? And how he asked for wisdom from God. And wisdom is knowledge, and it's knowing what the right thing to do is, um, because we know God's will, and that was what he wanted from God. He wanted the knowledge and the wisdom to know how to rule the country uh, well and fair. And so God gave him that very special gift. And in fact, he composed 3,000 wise sayings, and we can read those in the scriptures. And he knew all about animals and birds and plants and geography. And he became famous far and wide for his incredible wisdom. And God also gave Solomon skill to deal with all the affairs of court. And here he is on his throne in court. Now, many of his subjects would come to him every day with all sorts of things and they would ask him to help them do the right thing. And so that's what he was, he was like his father, David. One day, two women arrived. There's two women there. And as they came in, one of them tried to snatch a bundle of something off the other lady. And then the bundle cried. It was a baby. So two women who had come to Solomon's court to seek justice, wisdom, about a baby. And the baby was crying so much that the courtier took the baby away. And I'm sure the courtier looked after the baby nicely. Now then, one of the women poured out her story to Solomon and she said, we live together. We both had babies not very long ago. My baby was born just two days before her baby. One night she smothered her baby by accident. That's very sad, isn't it? The little baby died in the night. And while I was still asleep, she took my baby from beside me and put her dead baby in its place. I woke up to find that the baby beside me was dead. And when I looked again, I saw it wasn't my baby at all, but her baby. The other woman interrupted angrily. The dead baby was yours, she argued. Mine is the living baby. Yours is the baby that died. Well, the king, Solomon, let them shout and argue for a moment. And then he asked, are you both claiming that this live baby is yours? Yes, they shouted together. Hmm. Courtier, fetch a sword. Hmm. A sword was carried in, and Solomon said to the courtier, Since both these mothers say that the baby is theirs, cut the baby in half and give them half each. Well, at once the baby's real mother cried out, Don't kill the baby. I'd rather she had him than that. But the other woman said, Go on, do as the king said. It's fair. Stop, Solomon thundered. Don't hurt the baby. The baby belongs to the one who wants to spare his life. Give the baby to her. Well, everyone in Jerusalem heard about the case of the baby and the two mums, and they thought how wise and clever their king must be if he could think of such a scheme to get at the truth. So it's a very famous story, and even today people talk about somebody needing the wisdom of Solomon uh, to solve one of these very, very difficult issues. A very, very difficult issue indeed, but he did the right thing, didn't he? And the baby went with the mum that loved him, which is a lovely story. And it reminds us, doesn't it? It points to our Saviour, the Lord Jesus Christ, who is wise above all things and knows the very, very best for each of us. And we must trust him and we must ask God too, for some of his wisdom. The fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. And so to know the Lord and to worship him and to ask him to be our saviour, that's the beginning of wisdom. And um, Christians will tell you it's wonderful to have the Lord Jesus Christ as their saviour and to know him in their hearts every day as their best friend. So thank you very much for listening to this extraordinary story. You might want to act that one out. Um, with some little dolls or 
see what, what you can do to make up that little story at home. But you should be going to sleep now. Anyway, we're just going to say a little prayer before you do go to sleep. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the wisdom of Solomon. Above all, we thank you for your wisdom, which is holy and right and good. We thank you, Lord, that you know all that is right and all that's best for each one of us. Help us to trust you, Lord, and help us to ask the Lord Jesus Christ to come into our hearts and to save us and to be our very best friend. It's in his name we ask these things. Amen. So thank you for listening and come back tomorrow for some more stories about Solomon. We're just going to do the blessing now. Le, le. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you safe. The Lord give you his peace till we meet again. Amen. Bye-bye, everyone, and good night. Bye-bye.